RJ, what are we doing today? The last piece of fence we have to do for this year, correct? Um, we have to put up one other gate after this, but that's easy, isn't it? So this big old long piece goes all the way down there to that tall post down there. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, we're going to take down these cattle panels and then in the next day or so, I will be taking these cattle panels and redoing a fence up there, but it's nothing I need RJ for. So he's going to help me get this piece up and then I think he's going to go rope again. That's what he did yesterday, huh? But right now he's having to take down a piece of barbed wire, which kind of is not good. Um, it is it's harder to take down than it is to put up sometimes so um, anyway and there's our two lovely good strands across there too yep so anyway all right we're gonna get off here and get to work okay so the other thing that I did today was that I cleared this side of the onions um, I've been working just in sections so you can see those are not as tall as these, and it's because I cleared these and they got more sun to start with, so, and they're not as cleared as those. Um, went to clear this out and figured out that I have more cucumbers coming in. I'm thinking I'm going to have to probably, they're not going to do anything because it's so late. This is the end of October. I really don't think cucumbers are going to do much here. Oops, I found a wire. I cleared around this because I think we're going to break this down and actually store it away for the winter um, because I don't want the plastic to crack in the um, snow and ice. So I'm going to break it down and probably use the dirt in some of the tubs and then just go buy new dirt next year. So um, this accumulates water in the bottom. So it'll also give me a chance to sort out my worms and keep my worms for next year i haven't figured out how to store them but i'm going to but here's my climbing uh spinach which if you'll notice some of the leaves are turn, starting to turn it's there's been a few days with a little light frost and then there's also a spider web right in the center i don't know if you can see that on camera but it's like perfect little spider web and i'm like yes catch the flies um then I came along here and I got the gourds out of this tree again. I went and looked around and um, I don't know, it's still blooming. We have some big gourds. We have long gourds, fat gourds. We've got two or three here and, and they're on the side of this. I did notice that they did better in the upright position. But then when I was coming along here, I noticed we've got more little gourds forming another one there forming um look here see another one there it's too young though right now they're not ripe so it's not gonna make lufa um see there's a big one in there and then there was some more i busted one that was teeny tiny that was just like i split when i lifted it up there it is or at least i think i did See, look at this little bitty thing still forming um, don't know when they're gonna stop forming but we'll see I pulled them all back oh here's the one that I pinched the thing on I think no that's not it either I don't know it fixed itself so there's another one that wasn't here mm, a few days ago a week ago maybe so they're still producing um, look there, there's another one. Do you see that little bitty one right there? That's the start of a baby gourd. Um, I guess we'll see because I don't know exactly when to harvest them. I've been waiting and feeling them and they don't feel any different. I've sacrificed two so far and not really gotten any ripe ones. Look in there, there's another one there, another one there. Bunch of wasps and pollinators in this thing. So I can't wait to get the new trellis system going. So, um, but anyway, I come down here and just kind of backed everything back around, pulled it out of the tree. Um, I do have another tub down here that I'm going to put 
some good dirt in right here. So I think that's where the dirt is going to go that is in the, oh my goodness, sorry, I walked into a spider web. That's going to go into, um, that's going to come out of that thing, uh, out of that grow tower. It's going to go in there and then we're going to make some more uh, herb gardens. So there are some gourds in here. I have to remember where the heck I saw them though. That's the bad part is there are some in here. Um, the frost is kind of getting some of this vine and some of it I'm getting when I disturb it. So um, I'm trying not to disturb anything that has anything on it, if that makes sense. So let's see, look here. While the leaves are dead, these vines are not. And they're still attached to everything and under the sun and they're going everywhere. So we will see. Like I said, I'm going to have a five foot section of them next year. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But other than that, I did untie this tree. If you remember, this tree had, it has, has, had, I don't know if it cured or not. Um, when the master gardeners were out here, they told me to chop it down. It wasn't worth saving. Well, I can't do that. So we tied it up and it was a little flimsy and I had a stake that supported it. And if you look now, it is beautiful, straight, um, for the most part, you know. No worse than any of these others down here. So I'm really glad that I kept it and saved it. We'll see if it ever goes to producing some fruit. Um, let's see what else. And I may have screwed up. I don't know if I did or not. But somebody told me no, I didn't because things are starting to go dormant this time of year anyway. And they don't look dead. But I transplanted um, some of these others in here. And some look like they took really well. Some didn't. Some came from that other um, red tub up there. And so now I have all my strawberries in one place. And they seem to be doing really well. Um, except for the ones that I kind of transplanted. But they still have green on them. So they're getting moisture. And that's a good thing. Um, my sage is amazing. It's getting big. I don't talk too much about it. But it's up here. And I didn't harvest any this year. Because I read not to harvest until the second year. I don't know. So I'd rather err on the side of caution. Um, and yes, this is tall again because my lawnmower won't say started again. Hmm, go figure. Might be my mechanic. I don't know. So, yeah. Get it fixed, then it doesn't. Get it fixed, then it doesn't. Oh well. Sorry. It's getting to be fall anyway, so it's gonna, the grass is gonna freeze back. Um, but here is my sage. I started with one little old sprig. And I'm actually thinking about putting it in one of the tubs so that it doesn't get run over down here. It's kind of the only herb that's out of um, a tub. There's another spider. We have lots of spiders down here. I'm not really sure why. But the peach tree has pretty much just a few little leaves. The wind really has been blowing here the last couple of days. Right now is the first time that it hasn't been. Um, I cleared part of this corner right here a couple of days ago and this Johnson grass hurts my hands it like splits them so anyway I cleared part of that and then the spearmint is over here but I got to get this all stuff out of here but it'll come back next year I, I promise so and there's still some over here but um I've got to do the basil I'm gonna collect any good basil leaves that I've got and I'm going to take this down. We still have one little green tomato. Pathetic little tomato plant, but there it is. I took the last of the tomatoes off of these guys today, and um, I'm going to do the basil. I really don't think there's a whole lot of basil left. I've harvested a lot of the leaves um, that don't have anything on them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with basil, but hey. And my little cantaloupe here, it is too late in the season, so I'm pretty sure he's not going to produce a cantaloupe. So he's going to have to come out too. And see, he's just killing this other sprig of basil. But he didn't do anything this year. Um, anyway, so, and I'm thinking that these are seed pods. I'm going to try and, I don't know if you can see those. I'm going to try and see if we can get some seeds out of there. Don't know. Um, I scrunched it around and I don't see any. So it means... One of two things. They could have already fallen 
or I just don't know what I'm looking at when they fall. So, yeah. Anyway, so I've been messing around down here. Not a whole lot. Just kind of playing around. Um, move that hay feeder you saw. Um, I don't know. I'll pop a picture of that in right here. Whenever I split this. Um, but I'll show you a picture of that. Um, fixed a couple of busted feeders. And the big job that we did today was we put in the rest of that piece of fence out there that's far, far out there along the cattle and got the cattle panels that are needed to repair Coop's pen. So she'll be having her pen repaired and my truck is supposed to be being painted this week so I'm super excited and hoping to get that back if they didn't go over budget and I have to save some more money. Um, I'm hoping not. So we'll see how it all goes. But pretty much today, I skipped out on work yesterday, so I work more today. Oh well, that's what happens when you skip out on your work. So anyway, the calves are up and roaming around. And uh, where is Murphy? He was around here someplace. Gotta watch him. He's been sneaking up on me here lately and using his head to push me. There he is can't see because the sun's in my eyes but he's right there by the barn I don't know if you guys can see him or not anyway but I'm gonna get off here and go make some dinner I'm actually walking up here to show you that we moved that hay feeder um, the sheep use that big square one which will be used as our winter hay feeder and then um, we moved one of the eight foot ones I built last year that was in that pen over to here for Murphy. So Murphy's got it. He's got a wooden feeder. I got to take that rubber tub out of there. Tomorrow I'm going to find a new place to store that. Take down the dog kennel that's out there. Um, I'm also devising a way to do RJ's roping dummies. He needs a way other than hanging it on that fence because we had to move it. So I'm going to work on that. Um, yeah. It is what it is, and we're going to uh, just get things done. Looky, there's a little phoenix hand. She's actually across. And then there's Miss Buttercup. Yes. And this is some other stuff that I took down. This goes in the barn for the garden. I've got to go in there and get a pot because I found a bell pepper plant, and I'm going to try and save it. I'll go in there and get that, and I'll show you that Okay, plant. so I was told that you could weather bell peppers over the winter. Um, I got our only bell pepper off of this plant today. I found this one in the garden underneath all those uh, leaves, if you remember that. So I'm going to actually try it. I soaked the root um, because the garden was really dry and you can tell all the leaves are starting to fall off. It, it's actually been frostbitten. Probably not the best way to experiment here, but going to try it anyway just because I was told I could. Um, that just makes so much sense, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, this is some dirt from the garden and it's got some uh, compost in it and stuff. So I'm literally just going to stick, dig a hole, put my big root base in there and I'm going to have it stand up like this and then I'm going to put it so that it's going to face the sunlight and hopefully stand itself back up and then we'll go from there. If it works, who knows? I might just be killing it. Okay, so I planted it. I haven't watered it yet. I'm going to water it because this needs a... a plate or something underneath it and then I'm going to go put it in our front room window and I'll show you it faces the west so it'll get a lot of sunlight there all year long you know so and it's a huge window it's it hot up there so we'll see if it'll straighten out and maybe come back to life if it dies it dies it's just a pepper plant from the garden that I thought was in enveloped by Vine City I guess so I'm gonna water it and I'll update you later okay so Today is Mr. Zebu's day. Um, it is his day to be turned out. We normally do it the last week of October, first part of November. And uh, let's see, we have to move in between three stalls. And he gets really super excited when he's being moved. And so he's. See, he starts with a little trot, and then he's going to do this whole bucking thing. He's got to stop and check out all the pens. I don't know if you can see him. But here he comes. He's going to get the cat. 
Come on. Told you you should close that one. How's that working for you, son? <laughs> RJ said, oh no, he'll he'll see the arena, he'll go out. Come on, Zebu! Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so Mr. Zebu is down and he is asserting his dominance over the three little females that we have. RJ's going to ride down there and open the gate and turn them all on a pasture. He's going to run around, act like a goofball for a while, and then uh, he will... Yeah, where were you, Hank, when he was coming after me, huh? <laughs> so, anyway, RJ will turn them out and they'll be on the pasture and... Uh-oh, Miss Longhorn and Mr. Zebu are going nose to nose. Don't know if you can see it down there. Don't know how to zoom with my little camera here. I'm just on my phone, so yeah. <laughs> He's like, and Miss Longhorn is having none of it. She's backing him up real quick. Miss Longhorn is a full-size Longhorn, and he is a um, Zebu bull, so he's a miniature, but Longhorn cattle don't get big and hefty, but because she's a full size, she outweighs him. So, anyway, RJ's gonna open the gate. My heart's pounding just a little bit heavier, a little faster. Um, he just following everything around, gonna go out in the pasture and be a bull. So, that way, next fall, we will have babies. It will take about nine months, so.